Water on the Moon Bombshell NASA satellite observes moving water on the moon's surface. Well, the moon is holding a lot of surprises for us lately. First of all, uh, a few weeks back we found that NASA confirmed that the moon is in the Earth's atmosphere. In other words, they found that the atmosphere of the Earth envelops the moon and and after that as well, the distance between the Earth and the Moon finds the Earth's atmosphere enveloping the Moon, and another distance after the Moon also has atmosphere of the Earth. So, next thing you know, it could be that uh, astronauts will be able to breathe something on the Moon. I have no idea. But the latest is water on the Moon. NASA instruments orbiting the moon found evidence of water molecules moving around and even bouncing on the lunar orb's day side. Groundbreaking Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter LRO study claims. This is by Sebastian Kelly on Express UK. The moon discovery is incredible. It follows the long-held assumptions. The surface of the moon is dry, inhospitable, to water that doesn't have anything. But up until the last decade or so, NASA said astronomers only expected water to exist in isolated pockets of ice near the moon's poles, the North and South Pole. However, a recent slew of discoveries, including NASA's latest find, challenged the way scientists understand the hydration of the moon. Astronomers now believe small amounts of surface water are bound to the moon's gray soil, or regolith as they call it. These small batches of water vary in amount and location and are dependent on the time of the day. The discovery is exciting because it can help better plan future manned missions to the moon with the goal of setting up a permanent base of residence. Now they saw liquid bouncing, but I don't even know how they found that it was water. I assume that they have the proper uh, tests that they confirm it's water. Now, Amanda Hendricks, the study's lead author, said, these results aid in understanding the lunar water cycle and will ultimately help us learn about accessibility of water that can be used by humans in future missions to the moon. Lunar water, she says, can potentially be used by humans to make fuel or to use for radiation shielding or thermal management. If these materials do not need to be launched from Earth, that makes these future missions more affordable. And this image that we see is from NASA GSFC. Uh, water on the Moon, the NASA instruments found bouncing water molecules on the Moon. The lunar discovery found the water molecules are tightly bonded to the Moon's surface until around the time when the temperatures peak at noon. Then the water molecules thermally disorb and bounce around until they land in a location cold enough for the water to cool down again and return to the surface. Dr. Kurt Rutherford, a principal investigator of LRO's Lyman Alpha Mapping Project, LAMP for short, argued the discovery is particularly important because NASA now wants to return to the moon within the next decade. He said it's important. The new result about lunar water is a hot topic as our nation's space program returns to a focus on lunar exploration. He said we certainly converted the LAMP's light collection mode to measure reflecting signals on the lunar day side with more precision, allowing us to track more accurately where the water is and how much is present. Dr. Michael Poston said, uh, lunar hydration is tricky to measure from orbit due to the complex way that light reflects off of the lunar surface. And Poston is a research scientist for LAMP. He said previous research reported quantities of hopping water molecules that were too large to explain with known physical processes. And he added, I'm excited about these latest results because the amount of water interpreted here is 
consistent with what lab measurements indicated is possible. And according to NASA, scientists have previously hypothesized ionized hydrogen carried on solar winds from the sun could be the source of the moon's water. Hydrogen carried on the solar winds from the sun. In other words, the sun, with its solar wind, provides the moon with water. This should result in the amount of water on the moon's decreasing every time it passes behind the earth and is shielded from the sun. But this was not the case. Instead, NASA said water on the moon builds up over time rather than raining down directly from the solar wind. John Keller, who is NASA's deputy project scientist at uh, uh, LRO, said this result is an important step in advancing the water story on the moon and is as a result of years of accumulated data from the LRO mission. Now, when is NASA going back to the moon? Jim Bridenstine, NASA administrator, vowed to send the U.S. space agency back to the moon before the, ne the end of the next decade, and NASA chief said, we will go to the moon in the next decade with innovative new technologies and systems to explore locations across the lunar surface than ever before, more locations than ever before. He said, this time, when we go to the moon, we will stay. We will use what we learned as we move forward to the moon to take the next giant leap sending astronauts to Mars. The announcement was after a 6% increase in NASA's annual budget, which totals a staggering $21 billion. Mr. Bridenstine argued the budget will help NASA establish a, stain, a sustainable exploration campaign with commercial and international partners joining in as well. Uh, there's an embedded video you can uh, see. It's, it's the, um, about, uh, it's about uh, two minutes. NASA outlines how the moon has traces of a sunburn. Okay, so they see these things jumping around and relanding. Uh, they still don't know exactly how the water is there, how it, got, how it gets there. My question still remains, how do they know this is water and it's not, for example, hydrochloric acid or something? Or... Uh, uh, something that's poisonous to humans and also is it that it could it be that these are the things that we see sometimes shining on the moon's craters some people that are uh, amateur astronomers and enjoy looking at the moon and uh, other images coming to us showing that there are sparkling items in the craters of the moon could it be that they are locations of water as well. Fascinating stuff. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. 
Thank you.